start uh, with that finish right there, <laughs> being able to experience this with Larry. That yeah, down. I mean, I obviously know uh, what's going through his mind, and it was just a part of a just a, a welcome and uh, also to a new era, I suppose, for the both of us. I just thought it's the right thing to do. You know, I think the wife suggested it and I thought about it. I said, yep, yeah, I'm going to go back out there and uh, welcome him to a new era. <laughs> so, 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 so sum up how you feel now after going through all that with Larry and yourself? Cold right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe how it can change so quick. It's amazing. But, yes, it's... Um, it's part of many, many years of playing competitive golf um, since I was about uh, 15 or 16 years old. And it's come to an end. Um, I'm sure Gary Player and Nicholas and a few others have all gone through the same system and, and Mr. Watson and that lot. And, you know, I knew my time was coming up pretty soon the last few years. And you can tell by the scores that the course is killing me out there. So. I went out this year with a little bit of hope because I was working hard on the game to get some sort of game together. Um, but the, it's, um, it's a grinding machine out there at the moment with the length for, for older players. You know, maybe in time they'll, they'll have another little tournament going on with, within the Masters tournament for the, the over 60s. You never know. Play off the front tees and be entertaining. Taking you back to last night, Sandy, I mean, yeah. you obviously knew that... that no, you wanted to say to the people who were there. Yeah. Well, I think it was the right thing to do, wasn't it? You know, to to say something back to the the patrons. You know, they've been very good, very um, knowledgeable of the game of golf. Uh, a lot of them have been coming here for many, many years, and you know, I've probably been a few miserable times when I come off the 18th and I want to <laughs> go and bang my head into a wall somewhere, but. Other times has been great, and they've been very supportive. And it, more noticeable, probably yesterday, when they all stood up coming up the 18th, and uh, Jason Kokrak stood by the green and clapped for me all the way from there. So um, it's it, they're nice memories, and I'm I'm going away with going home with good feelings. Tell us about the mm. How close were you, do you think, to being able to part finish last night? Oh, seconds, <laughs> seconds. We were just basically lining our putts up and I was going to be the last to putt because the other two had got to finish and Taylor Gooch had like a two and a half footer for a bogey and uh, he had to wait as well and we tried to talk to the official that, you know, please <laughs> let us finish but no, they stuck to the rules and rules are rules and we had to abide by that. How did you spend last night? Um, a lot of tequila. <laughs> and uh, a bit of whiskey tasting at about one o'clock this morning. <laughs> yeah, the replica putter is uh, an idea that Ping came up with, and they reproduced the the model of putter I used in '88, which is a Ping Pal, and um, they obviously reserved one for me. And it's, I didn't realise it was going to be a goldish one, so we thought it would be nice to use it on the last hole from whatever 10, 12 feet and had it presented to me by my caddy and you know the old royal is the sword <laughs> wipe the blood off that kind of thing but um, it didn't hold a putt though it was a lousy putt but it was just a nice moment to use a, a putt that I used many many years ago Sandy, were you aware that everyone was trying to rush to come and see you this morning you, you, yeah you we saw we again? saw them sort of stacking up there by the scoreboard and I thought any minute now there's going to be a stampede but yeah, it'd be nice of probably another few more minutes, and I could have um, the crowd could have given me a good send off. How long was your putt last night? Uh, about 12 feet, probably oh. 10, 12 feet. Yeah, 10 feet more likely. Yeah. Which one? Which clubs did you take out of the bag? Which one? Uh, took out the four iron and the three irons, so mostly two rescue clubs, because <laughs> they can fly the ball higher in the air, which I need to on the fast greens so yeah I've always criticized a few of them over the years and oh, you've got a rescue club have you another rescue club and yeah, I'm doing it myself now no it wasn't the original it was a ping pal okay. and um, ping have reproduced the ping pal um, for people who are collective or whatever it is and uh, 
I've got the one which has got actually C on it, which is Champion 1988 okay. on the on the side of the pudder. It's a nicely made pudder. I mean, it's no. Well, it looks like gold, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Um, I hope it'll go back into the trophy cabinet, I think, when back home in Scotland, yes. <laughs> is it two Is it two putts, yes. Yeah. Sandy, when you were on 18T yesterday, Jason gave the honor to what did you think about that? That was a nice touch. I would say the, the boys, you know, not from my era, you know, they're, they're only in their 30s, and but they were very good, well knowledgeable, and they said, well, we'll give you the, we'll give you the honor up the 18th, which was quite nice. Then you feel a bit bleh at the time. <laughs> I hope I could hit the damn fairway because my drive at 17th was not worth mentioning about, I tell you, but it went along the ground. So the driver, yeah, I did. I kind of semi topped it or sculled it, you know, trying to get the ball up to get the, get the carry, and I must have stayed behind it too much and caught it off the bottom of the club. So it wasn't very pretty, but at least the one in the 18th, I teed it a bit higher this time and got away with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you.